Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute helping you find your winning way. Today's topic for discussion is the importance of a great instructor. I'm going to go through a list of items that I think are very important in meeting that criteria. So let's start off with number one. I believe he or she should definitely have some credentials, have some education, have a PGA certification. I am a PGA member and the amount of training that we have gone through the thousands of hours that we have had to get that PGA license is very important and the, one of the keys of being a PGA member is to grow the game of golf and teaching is at the forefront. So I think that's very important. With, like I just said, the experience factor is big when you're looking for an instructor. I think they should have a lot of experience in teaching all different kinds of players because that experience will help, help them help you. Also, I think they should be a great listener. They should be able to listen to what you're say, saying and help you out with what your needs are. Also, with being an instructor like myself, you have to have many hats and one of those is motivating you or they should be able to motivate you so that's a very important factor so look for that also without saying the motivation uh, they should have a passion for the game of golf if not then you need to look elsewhere real quick <laughs> I wouldn't wait um, also they should really care about your success and getting better if you don't feel that and if it's not evident within the first lesson or second lesson, you need to look for another instructor because they should really care. It's going to be a relationship that you're going to have to form with that instructor as far as the communication goes, and y'all need to be on the same page, and they need to care about you getting better as a student. Okay? So one of the signs, too, is like definitely the communication should be excellent between you two, like I just said. Um, also, one thing I think is a big point is within the first five to ten minutes of you getting the, your very first lesson I think you should be able to already see improvement um, you should definitely know where you're heading as far as the game plan and it should make 100 percent sense to you as a student what you're trying to accomplish if not you need to look another place uh, you and your instructor should come sit down and write down a game plan, a routine of how many lessons you're going to take a week, how many hours you're going to practice, how many rounds are you going to play, how much time devoted to hitting, pitching, chipping, sand game, putting, uh, competitive training, technical training, mental training. All of those things are important. Uh, and when you need to have a one month goal, three month goal, six month goal, and a year ago this will keep you accountable for what you're trying to do without a written or written plan it's gonna be hard for you to stay on track also if you can have a friend or someone that is very serious about the game and you can work together with your schedule where y'all can have hold each other accountable that's a big step in the right direction too okay so each week or every two weeks with your instructor I believe you should reflect on what you are doing you know your successes that are positive and also your failures what are you having trouble with y'all should be addressing those issues and continue working on a game plan to get you going in the right direction I say one of the big things that's helping our junior population get better at a lot younger age is the use of videos Video technology is unbelievable now what they can do. I personally use the V1 instruction. So having that at your disposal, your instructor should be using videos and keeping track of what you, where you were and where you're gonna be next week. You know, have videos on file so you can see the differences and where you're at. Because sometimes, I know from my own experiences, when I'm changing something or in the, in the very first stage of changing, you don't necessarily see your scores go down. So if you can look at the video and see where you started, and then like a month down the road, like see that you are changing, even though your scores may not be changing, that's important to keep you moving in the right direction because you know it takes a while for all this to take effect and get your scores to come down. 
So look at the video, see that you're making those changes, see that you're doing the right things, and as you get more comfortable with the changes, it will become more athletic and more a habit, and you won't have to think about it as much. Stay the course with that. Your instructor will help you with that as part of his job or her job, and definitely will help you. So if you used all these tools to look for what I consider a great instructor, you should be heading in the right direction and your gut should tell you that, hey, this is, there's, this is the right instructor for me. So, for more vlogs and blogs, uh, check out barnhillgolf.com and I look forward to talking to you next time.